This is the plaintiff, Gentry Ann Harrison. She says the defendant found her lost dog on the streets of her neighborhood, stole him, and refuses to give him back. That's right. She plastered the neighborhood with flyers, went to shelters, and the defendant was hiding the dog the whole time. The defendant is evil. She has proof the dog's hers and is suing for $5,000 for all this woman has put her through. This is the defendant, Brittany Morris. She says she works for an animal rescue, and there was this dog roaming the streets. She tried to get the dog for some time to bring him in to see if he was chipped and fixed, and finally he walked up to her. The dog was deemed unadoptable because he didn't have any shots, so she adopted him because otherwise he was going to be euthanized. She never saw any flyers in the neighborhood. She adopted him legally, has all the paperwork, and owes the plaintiff nothing because the plaintiff abandoned Abandon them. She's accused of refusing to return Fido. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Yana. Thank you, Doug. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay, Ms. Harrison, you lost your dog? Good morning, Ms. Judge. Yes, ma'am, <laughs> Your Honor. What happened? Well, my brother was moving and he was. Uh, moving some things into our house. He let the dog out to walk. Some type of way, the dog got a loose. And um, after about 15 minutes, they started to look for him. He called me about two hours later. So um, I left work. I tried to look for my dog, scavenged. No one could find the dog. Uh, I made flyers, put up posters. I asked some of the kids from the neighborhood, you know, hey, have you seen Camo? And no one had no idea where he was. So um, a lot of time had no went past. And the guy that cut my grass is actually her neighbor. So um, one day when I was getting ready to go to work, he was like, hey, you got your dog back? And I'm like, no, I don't have my dog back. Wait, how long after losing your dog was this? This was about August, September, October, uh, about three or four weeks. Weeks or months? Because you just said August, September, October. Well, I, I started the process in October. It was like the beginning. Wait, wait, stop, stop. You started what process in October? Well, the process to um, to bring her to court. Okay, so in two months after you lost your dog, you, that's when your landscaper says, did you get your dog back? Because I know where it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so go on. So he said that because he had told my parents uh, a couple of days before he told me that he knew where the dog was, that um, Miss Mason or Morris had done um, show him in her phone a video of the dog that she had got him, you know, chipped and everything else. And he was like, well, you can't do that. That's someone else's dog. So, well, my mom and my mom and my dad went and tried to, you know, knock on the door, talk to her, things like that. No one ever came to the door. Where Come on up, mom. Oh, Did you want her to testify? Yeah, because she, this is her part of it. Go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Um, October 13th, um, I was, I stopped by to ask, we call him the grass man, his name is Mr. Giles. And I asked him to come down to cut the grass and he said, hey, you got your dog? And I'm like, you know we don't have the dog. Stop playing, I said, I've been looking everywhere for the dog. So he said, oh, she has your dog. And I'm like, who's she? He says, the lady next door, Miss Brittany. I said, well, how Miss Brittany get the dog? He said that the dog follows some children that come, that comes to the house and play with the dog down the street and he tried to shoo him home and say, but Miss Brittany called the dog and she has the dog. Wait, this is two months after you guys lost the dog? Mm -hmm. So we, what happened for those two months? We had been, we went to two shelters. We um, put up flyers, but they always Do you have any evidence that you went to the shelters? Like, do they, do you the, fill something out at the shelter? Yes, but- May um, I see that? No, I don't have that. We fill it out at the shelter, but if they're, if you're not leaving with anything, they don't give you anything. All right, so what happens is two months later, we, you hear that the dog is there. Who, which of the two of you knocks on our door? Okay, I did not, I, I did not knock on her door. The, Mr. Giles, when he told me, he said she has the dog, she showed him on the thing. I say, well, you don't I don't have need to, to know the whole conversation between you okay. and the grass man. Okay. I'm just no, try I'm trying can't... to get to when somebody says something to her. Okay, I rang the doorbell. I never knocked on her door, but I did go to her it's house. It's fine. You knock on the door because you want to no, talk to her no. because she's got your dog. I don't care if you rang the doorbell, sent up a smoke signal, or knocked on the door. It's no, it's fine. So what does she say? No one's an no one answered. Did you ever talk to her, yes or no? Yes, I did. When, when I came did you back, talk to the her? The next day, that Tuesday, when okay. I came back, I put it in her yard, and she said, hey, the crazy lady's here, the crazy lady's here. Wait, wait, she was who says the crazy lady? Miss Brittany, she was on the phone with the cops, 
And okay. I told her, I said, Miss Brittany, I didn't come to your house to start any trouble. I just only came to inquire about the dog and to offer the When pay. did you find that dog? On September 5th, I was dealing with Lee County Sheriff's officers in regards to another dog incident. And as I was standing with the officer, the dog had approached from behind the officer and I told the officer, do not move, there's a dog approaching you. What I kind could, of dog is this dog? He is a Staffordshire mix and um, on- Do you have a picture? Yes, ma'am. I have his paperwork. There's a couple in there behind there. Okay. What was the other issue you were dealing with Oh, so and my was this neighbors, the police or animal control? No, this was the police that were actually at my house. It was in regards to a different uh, person that lived about two houses down from me in regards to their dogs, and, like, they were harassing the neighbors next to them. After that took place, I confined the dog onto my property. I contacted Lee County Animal Services because in the state of Florida, for the or ordinance laws, it says um, if the dog is not chipped after three days, and it does not pass there. If the dog is not, it's not that if the dog is not chipped after three days. If the well, dog I'm is sorry, not, not chipped, chipped, comma. Sorry. Then one must wait three days. But where was the dog during that time? Did you take the he dog was at to the shelter? At the shelter. Yes, so for those three days, the dog was at the shelter or longer? He was at the shelter until September 12th. Almost, he was almost. September what to what? September 5th to September 12th. September 5th to September 12th. Yes, so the dog was there for a week. Show me evidence that the dog was at the shelter. Here you go. Pitbull. Caller has a straight pit bull. Did you go to the shelter in question? Yes, did you guys we go to Banner Drive? I went to three different shelters. Did you go to Banner Drive? Yes, ma'am. Banner was one of the ones I got. Now, when did you go to Banner Drive? I went to Banner Drive. Uh, I'm not sure of the date. It was in. How was, soon after losing the dog? The same day. The next day. The next I, day. The next day I went to see if, if you he had filed been checked something. In. Then when they had the dog, they would have cross referenced it. I understand that, but this is the thing: she steals dogs. That's what she does. Because she, she okay. I have evidence in my phone that she tried to steal another dog. My neighbors across the street from me, that another dog that I gave them. How did she quote try to steal that dog? Well, I don't know how she ended up with Oinky. She tried to scare the Spanish people, saying that she was going to call ICE, and the lady right, came stop, over stop, here. Stop, 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 Did you scare the Spanish people, telling them you're going to call ICE? You know no, we don't like that. No, ma'am. <laughs> um, no, ma'am. On October 12th, in regards to the Oinky dog, and I also have that activity report from LC. Are you yes. like a dog rescue? I work with the dog rescue, ma'am. I'm just a volunteer foster. We're a home-based foster. Okay. So, um... Tell uh, me about the Oinky incident. Okay. So on October 12th, I was heading out my door to go to work. There was a little tiny white dog sitting in front of my house. I also, in my phone, if you type in my code, you can see where I made a post about him. Po tell me what you mean so by a post. So on Facebook and on Paul Boosters, you can type in, you know, this dog was found because in the state for Lehigh in Florida, you can hold the dog for 24 hours to post to see if you can find the owner before you send it to the pound. Come so what happened with Oinky? Did you find so, the owner that way? Well, Melissa, who wrote a statement, who is actually their neighbor that watched Prince run around the neighborhood every single day eating the out the garbage. The people run around the neighborhood every single day. Yes, Prince did, the first dog. Right, her dog. Um, yes. What, what happened was Saturday, Sunday morning on the 13th, Melissa had messaged me. She was like, hey, I just saw your message. Ah. The neighbors live here that owns the dog Got not it. too far from Did you bring them. them their dog back? They came to my house to pick up the dog. Now, when the man came to my house to pick up his dog, when I got back with my children, I happened to turn around. The same gentleman that she gifted a dog that was not even hers to had the dog back in the middle of the street. He was speeding 60 miles wait, wait, down the road. What do you mean had the dog back in the middle he of the street? He didn't even put the dog in the car after he removed the dog from me. He put the dog in the road, started going 60 miles per hour, having the dog chase after his vehicle. I had to leave my three children on the patio to go back and chase after this dog, chasing after a car, confined him. I contacted Lee County Sheriff's Office because it is a misdemeanor crime, and I also contacted... What is a misdemeanor crime? Um, abandoning a dog in a public area and for an endangerment. That's so weird, though, because if I he went there to pick up the dog, why wouldn't he just pick up the dog? It's so I understand. So how do you chase a dog chasing a car? Because they go fast. If, so how did you catch the dog? It was a lot of work. Melissa had to help me and somebody else. How did you catch the dog? I jumped on top of him. How fast a runner are you? <laughs> Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So um, the plaintiff loses the dog. The defendant adopts it legally. Um, and now the plaintiff finds out the defendant has it. Who owns that? Who gets that dog? The defendant gets the dog. Why? 
Well, because it was legally adopted, so it's lost property, not mislaid property. I get you call it property, and you're right, but it is a dog. It's an animal. It's a pet. No, as long as they have a name tag and they don't belong to who it is, they have to go back to the original. Well, no name tag. That's why the defendant adopted it illegally. Yeah. I'll answer for her. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. It's 2020 <laughs> going inside the courtroom. So I understand what you're saying, that she's a little, uh, you know, like she's the self-anointed dog care f whisperer of the neighborhood is your version that she should mind her own darn business and stop taking people's dogs. Her version's a little different. People should stop leaving their dogs roaming the neighborhood, that that's cruel, and that having a dog loose in, you know, deliberately to chase a car is also cruel. I don't know how she caught that dog. But let's talk about this case. You have very specific laws about lost animals. Did your dog have a chip? No, he didn't. OK, when your dogs have a chip and they are taken to animal control, you have five days to get the dog. When a dog doesn't have a chip and they are taken to animal control, you have three days to get a dog. I guess they're trying to encourage people to put chips, OK? Now, this dog was at animal control. I'm looking at the paperwork. She followed what she's supposed to do. This is a report from Animal Control. Morris completed and signed a stray release form. The dog was impounded without incident. Then on the 12th, you chip the dog and adopt the dog, which is one week later. My question to you is if she did everything exactly according to law. She didn't just see your dog say, that's a cute pit bull, and take it into her house. She did exactly how she's supposed to do. Then why does she have to return the dog to you? Because you don't like Florida law? No, ma'am. Yeah. It's no streets in between my house and hers. My dog wasn't wrong. She kept him Oh, no, captive. no. Your dog was unleashed, a pit bull unleashed in the middle of the road. Animal control took your dog. I know that. She held him captive for that long. He wasn't loose roaming the streets. That's what I'm telling you. There's no way he could have been roaming the streets that long, and I did not see him and get him back. So There's you are no surmising streets. that she hid the dog for five days? Yes, ma'am. And then magically calls animal control. Well, she's friends with them. I, I even have... No, but do you understand how that doesn't make sense? Because if she hid the dog for five days, she wouldn't call animal control. She'd just keep the dog. Well, she hid the dog for five days because she knows it takes three days when people are looking for their dog. And after three days, you know, she knows the law better than yeah, me but about no, the dog. No, 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 no. The three days don't run until animal control gets the dog. So there's no incentive to do what you're saying. The bottom line is, apparently, Lee County had no record of you filing anything because they gave the dog to her after seven days. I feel like that she held my dog captive when I first was looking for him. I mean, you got to look at the time frame from when he went I missing. I am looking at the time okay, frame. Your dog time... goes missing on the 30th. She calls animal control on the 5th. You have no evidence she secreted your dog, and it doesn't make any sense that she would she... if she, in fact, called animal control and said, look at this dog. I mean, Ms. Harrison, you yes, have to understand, you know, I didn't write the law in Florida. I'm abiding by the law in Florida, and you have to abide by it, too. Show me the report you filed with animal control, letting them know your pit bull was roaming the neighborhood. Let me see what you filed with animal control. You didn't, OK? This dog belongs to her, and my verdict is for the defendant. Well, in the eyes of the law, the dog belongs to the defendant. Ms. Harrison, I'm sorry for you, but you heard the judge's decision. What are you thinking? No comment. Well, I have one. Karma is real. And she's a dog thief, and she held the dog captive. And good luck to her, and God bless her. Thank you. All right, you're entitled to your opinion. All right, Ms. Morris, I know you know what they're thinking. Yeah. What are you thinking right now? Um, I'm happy. At least I know that he's going to remain safe. And hopefully this sends out a message to everybody. Take care of your dogs. Chip your dogs. And do what you can I mean, can it didn't them. come out enough in the case. But the fact is, if you had not adopted the dog when you did. The dog would have been euthanized. We were contacted on the 11th, letting us know that he did not pa pass the adoption test that they do to put on the floor. Right. And they were going to euthanize him that day. And we ended up pulling him out. So I saved your dog. Good for you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Enjoy the dog. Interesting case, Harvey. What do you think? So, listen, Doug, the laws vary from state to state, but if you lose your dog, the first thing you should do, call animal control and really find out if they pick that dog up. And besides, the biggest thing is put a chip in there so this doesn't happen to you.